What's up, guys, and welcome to the show. I'm running here, as y'all know, from Hemi Cruising, joined by Thomas hey. from Film Fanatics and uh, Whisper RS, aka known as Branson. Include my there. links this time. And Include my links this time. Yeah, links for all of links for all of these idiots will be in the description below. And today we are going to cruising the res, which is 60 miles in that direction. Through the woods. But um we've got our cars all prettied up. There's Thomas's over there and then the the, the RS Camaro. Still got fuel on them. Back there. We got uh we got some more stuff we gotta do to them, but we're gonna get some of this road trip out of the way first. Um we're meeting up with a whole bunch of people today. You're gonna see a whole lot of people from Head Turners, from uh, Mississippi Head Turners. We're all members. We we gotta represent. We're all members. I am. And yeah. So is Brent. Uh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get this show on the road. We're gonna go find food and caffeine first because it is currently. Uh, what time is it, Thomas? It's almost eight o'clock. Seven fifty-four. <laughs> We're going to go find food and caffeine, but it's going to be a good day with a bunch of cool people and a bunch of cool cars, and maybe none, it's gonna be an hour. Maybe none of us will lose our license. Yeah, this video is probably going to be an hour long. Probably. I'm wearing the same thing I wore last cruise in the road. Make sure you uh, watch it at one, one and a half times speed. <laughs> that makes it 30 minutes, but yeah. let's stop talking and let's start driving. Oh, you found the grasshopper. He's gonna ride all the way to Minnetonka. Oh, no. He, he's struggling. This is a Chucky Beat production. So we made it up here to the uh, meeting spot for the southern, uh, the two guys coming up from the coast. We've got me, there's Branson, Thomas is holding hey, a baby. camera, Hello. Cody's over there. Hey Cody. And that's the new guy that none of us have met before, that's Brandon with an E. He's back there with the, with the 3.7 Mustang. Here's the 3.7. Yeah, after today we're disowning him, so don't disown him. After today. Here's Cody's Challenger. Here's my car, yet to be named. Here's Timmy Cruz. Black Exorcist. Black Exorcist, Timmy Cruz. And you got Branson's car. That's that's who all's here right now. And there's two more Camaros coming from the coast. Yeah, uh, and they're making pretty good time. Yeah, they've they're made going probably speeds they shouldn't be. Yeah, we're not going to mention what speeds they were going at because they're probably going at speeds which would require us to say that they're in Mexico. So <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess we'll update you when. Everybody Other people, yeah, everybody gets here. Is it only them two we're waiting on? Yeah, it's just them two, and then we gotta go to Jackson and pick up like five people coming up from from the metro area. So. Yeah, so that'll be fun.
so while we're cruising up the trace here, I just want to kind of give an update on things. Um, first off, you may have noticed Jessica is no longer in the uh, profile picture, the banner picture on the channel. And it's not because of anything that's happened between me and her there. It's just she doesn't really help out a lot. And so there's no need to have her in the uh, channel or on the profile if she isn't helping out. Next thing I want to talk about is the car. Uh, I, have, I, have a, I have a job now. I started a new job um, that pays good money. So hopefully there will start to be some performance mods coming up on the channel here very soon other than just badges and that kind of crap. Another thing is I want to talk about is uh, Green Hornet, my pickup truck. Um, Green Hornet is currently dead. It needs a water pump, a radiator, a battery, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm just not looking forward to replacing all of it right now when I have the car. So I don't know when I'll make a video about Green Hornet, but hopefully I will soon. Um, getting that back up and running. <laughs> but overall, I'm having a great time on this trip. I'm doing absolutely fine. We're cruising at about 55 mile an hour up the Natchez Trace. Uh, there's the beautiful Ross Barnett Reservoir out there. I've got uh, everybody back there behind me. I don't know if you can see them. You may can see better in that mirror. Uh, Branson's up there in front of me. And it's just been a good trip. I'm really enjoying it. <coughs> but I just wanted to kind of update y'all on some things. Uh, those few little things and um, just in case any of you were wondering uh, I want to do a video at some point in time talking about what I love about this car and what I hate about this car that may be coming in a few weeks it just depends on how my schedule works out we'll see uh, being in school it's kind of hard to make videos and adjust your schedule and do this and that to make time for videos but we'll see what happens Anyhow, I'm going to get back to driving, and uh, you can watch some more time-lapse footage, because I know that's what y'all love. But um, I just wanted to update you guys on that while I've got a few minutes, and we're just driving along at a comfortable pace. So, uh, we have all of our Head Turners members here with us now, and I just want to say that this is amazing to have this many cars running down a road together in one lineup. This is awesome. I've never experienced anything like this. I freaking love it. Um, this is going to be a good event. And, uh, dude, we've got everything. There's Mustangs. There's Challengers. There's Camaros. It's just amazing there that Head Turners, uh, we have the family that we do, and we have the community that we do, because these people love cars, and they love working on cars, and they love people that love cars. And I've never been a part of anything like this, but when you look in the rearview mirror, and there's a line of cars for about a half mile behind you, it's just amazing. And <clears throat> I just wanted to say that there, because this is pretty incredible, guys. I'm loving every minute of this. So uh, we made it up here to cruising the res, same place it was last year. We have a lot more cars this time, and uh, <coughs> every, everybody made it up here okay except for this one. He's he's pretty shook, but his car messed up. So she's fine. Everybody's fine. Don't buy a Chevy. Not really. It, it's. Did they need to straighten up over there? It look kind of bad. Hey, it looks fine. If you want to, you can. Man. You don't have to. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I mean, I'll go straighten it up for you. Oh, you want to drive it anyway? Yeah, yeah, I'll go straighten it up. Here, Thomas, you want to record me driving a Mustang? Sure. <laughs> Doing his most sinful act he's done to date. Come on, dude. Oh, my, my hood, uh, your what? My center still popped. I forgot I had it. Uh, I ain't reading. I need to straighten mine up anyways. Hey, if he moves, you should move yours. Woo! That's a nice car right there. Nice truck. It's standing.
standard, right? Yeah. It's his first time in a Mustang, or driving one. Can he do it without stalling the engine? That's the question. Good lord, he can do it. See my car over there. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's better. Well, what'd you think, Brandon? We'll, we'll get a we'll get a real drive in a little yeah. bit. So just to uh, start off with the uh, kind of the tour of the scene here, as you can see, there's a lot more people here this year or this month than there was last month. But uh, we're gonna start out with the uh, with this 1969, I'm gonna say Dodge Dart GTS Swinger. It's got a 383 four barrel. Looks like it's been completely restored, top, bottom, inside out. Uh, it's got the uh, black steel wheels on it with the Goodyear polyglass red lines. very pretty they've restored this car even as far back as the build sheet as you can see here this car would net you a grand total of three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that's how much this car cost back in the day it's a beautiful car though <coughs> Mopar just doesn't build them like they used to then we've got a Camaro back here Disc brake conversion, it looks like, all the way around from Will Wood. <laughs> and then up here we have, uh, we've got Blake's uh, Scat Pack Challenger Shaker with a 392 in it. There's Thomas's car over there. There's Cody's car. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We've been waiting to see. We've got an orange Mustang. Yeah. We've got a. Uh, <laughs> we were waiting. I didn't think it was Charger or a Dart or something coming up here. Uh, We've got Branson's car over there. We've got Kenny's uh, Cobra. It's stock. It's just a stock Cobra, according to Kenny. We've got a CTSV over there, some Mustangs. There's a Scat Pack Charger down at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's YouTube. How many followers you got? Only. How many, Thomas? Twenty. I was yeah, like twenty. Yeah, he was my. You were the twentieth yeah, subscriber. I was. Oh, I'm gonna get. Thomas. <laughs> Follow him, social yeah. media. Yeah. Hell State Challenger. <laughs> He's driving the Hell State Challenger over there. That's that's yeah. one custom car. That's oh, yeah. one off. You'll never find anything like it. Part of the beginning. That's the whole crew. That's right. Make you famous. <laughs> yeah. Famous, please. Branson, what is your what is your current enthusiasm level about this event right now? I need new brakes. <laughs> you need a new car. Yeah, amen. You really do. Get you a Mustang, dude. Uh, no. You can be crowd control. Yeah, yeah. I've got crowd control. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crowd control here in a little bit. He always crowd control. Crowd control for us. We got a bike rolling up right there. <laughs> there's some more stuff down through here. There's a, uh, there's a yellow GT350 over there. And uh. Really, things are just getting started here, though. So, probably a lot of more people are going to show up. I haven't even seen. I haven't even seen Hannah yet. Yeah, I haven't. I think she's stuck on the spillway. Yeah, she told everybody to go on the spillway, and then I, I commented and I said, "No, don't go on the spillway." <laughs> She said, yeah, she posted something 20 minutes ago about the spillway, both lanes being closed, so. Yeah. No, it's on 50, it's on I-55 where they got the two right lanes closed, but the spillway's just as bad, so. Yeah. 
So hopefully she'll Thanks. get here. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll see, I guess. There's a Boss 302 down there. Uh, I think that's pretty much a good overview of everybody at this point in time, as of right now. Did you get the classics? Uh, right yeah, I pointed them out. There's a... No, the ones that were over. Oh. They're still, oh. They're still over there right now. Yeah. I pointed out the Dart, which is right there, yeah. and then the Camaro. Branson wants that Camaro. Which one? The, the orange and mean black one. Yes. I wouldn't... Anyhow. That's just a little update as things get, as more people start to show up here. Imagine about 4.30, 5 o'clock, more people, or even more people start coming in, passing through. Yeah. It's just because the interstate is like a mess right now. Yeah. Construction. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow. So, we had this Hellcat just pull up here. And these guys over here don't know what to do about Hellcats. Uh, Gap it. Race it. They just see a Hellcat drive up and they're like, there's an SRT, there's an SRT. Is it a Hellcat? Is it? And uh, so we all had to rush out here and see that it is a Hellcat. There you go. Tell me like a Hellcat. Supercharger 707 horsepower of American Muscle. Your Mustang won't ever come close. Yeah, you, you heard it from the man himself. There's nothing done to this car. No pulley mod, no green belt, and all that junk that you people like to do to your Hellcats. No, this is 707 horsepower straight from the factory. See, there, there's even more proof. Are you nutting right now, Brandon? Nah. You're nutting. Nah. You're nutting. <coughs> You're nutting. Anyhow, we just had to run out here because there was a Hellcat driver. Alright guys, well I'm about to do something that no sane Mopar guy would ever do. I'm going to drive a Mustang. Kill me. Yeah, Branson's back there. Um, but <coughs> I was invited I was invited to experience what it's like to drive a 3.7 liter. And so, it's a stick, first off. It's been a while since I've driven a clutch. But, uh, Brandon, how do you think this is going to go? I don't know. It depends on how good you can drive a stick. <coughs> it's been a while. I'm not going to lie. Bran Branson, how do you... He's a disappointed Chevy owner <laughs> right now, riding in a Ford. Uh... Just to thoughts, see if you need to. I might die. Oh, Second yeah. thoughts, Angle this is going to be good. Just don't pull Either a meme. way. Yeah. Just, just don't pull a meme. We'll be all right. Can all I right. Cru uh, Emmy Cruz crowd control? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing crowd control. I don't want to wreck this dude's car. Please don't wreck my car. I'm not. We're not going to wreck your car. <laughs> well, it sounds like I'm in a V6. <laughs> well, you are. No, no hate. <laughs> Branson knows that gang. V6 life. Gang, yeah. gang. V6 gang. gang there gang. you go, Branson. Record. Have fun. We need AC. You're in third, I think. Are you? Yeah, you're in third. All right, so that's neutral. Over. Up, yeah, there you first. go. First. I'll get the hang of it here again in a minute or two after yeah, I've I know done how this is. for a little bit. I know how it is. How you feeling, Brandon? <laughs> good feeling pretty confident right this second after I go through a red light or two we'll, we'll be fine yeah <coughs> you sit so low to the ground in this thing yeah you do the shifter is like super short throw of course, I'm used to my dad's truck, which the shifter is as long as my arm is. <laughs> you gonna go, or what are we doing here? I 
actually really enjoy this and my <laughs> YouTube viewers are gonna hate me for it. But this is really nice. It's been a while since I've driven a stick powered sports car. This makes me wish my charger was a stick. <coughs> Do you get better gas mileage in it being a stick than an automatic? Because you know, that's what die hard car guys say. I think you really do. I mean, I stick it in six gear on the interstate and it's at like 1500 RPM. Yeah. And I get like 20 miles to the gallon, if not probably more than that. Yeah, this is really nice, although my left leg is starting to kill me and we haven't even went far. <laughs> We're gonna go up here and hopefully get past some of these red lights so I can yeah. go through all the gears. Six. Yeah, I don't use fifth and sixth until I get on the interstate. Normally. Yeah, that really isn't no need to. Yeah, <laughs> but like earlier when we were going real fast, I was in yeah. Fifth. Basically, in these fifth and sixth is just overdrive. Yeah. This is actually really nice. I'm still not buying a Mustang, <laughs> so no, my next car will not be a Mustang. But your exhaust sounds good. Yeah, I think it does. For being a V6. Borla. It sounds really good. Borla is the way to go. It is. You've only got 44,000 miles on here? Yeah. So you haven't had it that long. I've had it two years. I got it with 15,000 miles. Oh, uh, so maybe yeah. you have been a few places. Yeah. I drive a lot. <laughs> Yeah, everybody thinks a Mustang is the crowd control car, which it really is. I mean, have you ever seen a Mustang leave cars and coffee? But it's nice. It's domicile. Branson, how are you doing back there in the back seat, buddy? I'm getting this good old footage. From oh, photo reception. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, people a lot of times they don't know how to drive get Mustangs. I don't know why they do. I could have tried to make it, but we won't. Should have. No, I'm in somebody else's car. I'm not <laughs> gonna do that. <coughs> I really like this shifter. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know why. It's not the best. Power yeah, the, the only thing I don't like is the throw. Like I said earlier, it, it'll lock you out if you're going on it hard. Like yeah, today's triggerism. Today's triggerism. Hey Brandon, there's a black SUV behind us. That's great. Don't say that. Maybe he'll stay back there. God, I will forever watch Tahoe's now. <laughs> You'll never look at a Tahoe the same way again. I don't know, because he was in regular clothes too. He may have been off duty. He may have been, but he got you. He got me, bad. Yeah. Tom, what what was Thomas doing? Why did we leave Thomas? Thomas he just had didn't to go want use the restroom and thought he couldn't fit in the back. I don't blame him. First to second's a little jumpy. Yeah. You can chirp the tires a yeah. lot from first to second. Did you hear me chirp when we left the meet? <laughs> I heard you. You did? Yeah. Dang, you were way ahead of me too. Well, I heard somebody chirp. I don't know who it was. But Mine was I chirped them loud. I kind of lost control a little bit. I heard somebody chirp them, and I was like, who is that? I felt the back tires. I think spinning. it was Blake, to be honest with you. He left dude the same time we did? Yeah. I see you have a Venge Sevenfold playing. I just can't hear it because it's copyright issues. But yeah, don't, don't play that. I went and saw them in concert on the coast. You did? Yeah. I bet that was awesome. It was. Is that when they were with? Who were they with? Uh, on Breaking tour? Benjamin yeah. and Lord for my Valentine. I used to work down here at Bank Yeah. Club. This makes me want a manual so bad. I love driving stick. Sometimes it's bad, like in traffic, but the good outweighs the bad. 
Yeah, we ain't gonna, I'm not gonna run all your gas out, so we'll, all right. we'll turn around and head back here. Now we're not gonna turn traction control off and go around no. this corner. You will spin out if you do that. Yeah, I'm not, we're not gonna try. <laughs> Yeah, everybody that I know at school that knows how I am about Fords, they're going to give me so much hate for this. But, you know. <laughs> Gas it. <laughs> that is nice. For a V6, it will go. Yeah, it's 93 octane, too. And that exhaust just is awesome. It just makes it sound, I don't know, less like a, it, you know it's a V6, but. But to the untrained ear, it kind of does sound like a V8 yeah. somewhat. I've had several people ask me if it was a V8. <laughs> and you're just like, no, but it sounds pretty much <laughs> like it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of close. Get on it, son. Nah. <laughs> I'm not going to mess up the dude's car. He's probably already hating me there. No, it's his fine. clutch. I know how it is. I abused it when I first got the car because I was rusty at driving stick. Yeah, I mean, it's something that it takes practice. It's like riding a bike. You never forget how to do it, but... You have to kind of relearn every time if you haven't done it for a while. Yeah. I could do it for probably about a day, day and a half. If I had had one there that I could, like just a rental or something, I could learn it again yeah. and be good in a day or so. It could be worse. I could be grinding every gear. And the first day I got it, I got stuck in traffic on I-55 and I grinded a gear and my heart sank so bad. <laughs> They're just like my clutch. I'm like, no, I just got the car. <laughs> Rev it a little bit. <laughs> my friend tells me, or I have somebody that I know, he's like, Mustangs are, uh, they're designed to do that crackle thing, and I'm just like, don't think so. They, they really do pop a lot. Yeah, they pop a lot. I would Is that even, a game warden right there? I think so. Uh-oh. He could get us worse than a highway yeah. patrol guy could. This is also pop a little bit even with the stock mufflers on. It's just... <coughs> this is very nice. Cody needs to drive this car. Yeah. I believe there that he would he would like it. You think so? Yeah. Oh, your steer I like your steering wheel too. I don't know. I think it's just mine is super grippy. Really? Or it's really thick. Yeah, I like this kind of thin. Yeah. It has different steering modes. They're having a sport right now. Yeah, it does feel kind of stiff. Yes. Yeah, There's sport, standard, and comfort. Comfort is really loose. Branson, you should have got your Camaro with a stick. Uh, I didn't have much choice. <laughs> Again, if you want to pay for it, I'll do it. <laughs> That's me on everything. There are people like, you should have got this or you should have got that. Well, buy it for me then. Yeah, buy it for <laughs> me. I bought what I bought because I wanted that. And That's what I could afford. Yeah. Exactly. We're not going to race the, uh, don't do it. <laughs> the game warden. We've already raced a cop today. We don't want to. Well, that was a fun little drive. That yeah. was really gr nice. It'll get up and go for a V6. Try mine. Next time he lets me drive it, we're going to be on the drag strip. Yeah. Did Most people think the V6 is dirt slow, so. Yeah, and it, it's not. It's really not. The Eco Boost. Yeah. Thomas is just chilling in his car. Yeah. This is where 
you hit the truck in front of us. No. This is where we don't do that. You want to stop it? Well, that was really nice. Um, shout out to Brandon for letting me drive his car. I did not wreck it. You did a good job. I I wasn't the best in the world at driving stick, but it's been a while. So. <laughs> so good. We're going to actually probably start heading back to our own respective uh, places now because he's got, Branson's got to be home by a certain time and yeah, so. I got to sleep. Uh, I'll probably end out this video with some time lapse shots, but <clears throat> this is all I'm going to say. So it was fun at cruising the res. It was fun meeting all of you guys. I don't have any of the other people to show here. <laughs> I've known Branson for a while, so that's nothing new, but uh. It was great, and I can't. Our next meet, I think, is in June sometime, so you know there'll be a video for that. But if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, well, you know where that button is. <laughs> uh, leave your comments down below how much you hate me for driving a Mustang, and uh, subscribe to get notified whenever I upload more awesome content. But I'm Brandon. That's Branson back there. That's Brandon, too. Thomas is over there in his car, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.